Chesapeake Bay booth and had the Chesapeake mac and cheese, which had crab cakes in it, and it was really delicious. We came over to the Tidewater booth and had the flounder corn chowder, and it's really reasonable price. The tokens are reasonably priced, and um, for two tokens, you can enjoy a really good bowl of crown cheese. In the Colonial Williamsburg, we had the empanadas, super friendly people and staff waiting for everybody. Virginia is for lovers, it's even here, it has a booth set up with some awesome um, material, their signature Virginia is for lovers, they also have wine lovers, coaster lovers, and King's Dominion goodies, which is really awesome. They even had a custom sign for King's Dominion here today with their love sign with some water park pictures, coaster pictures, of course the Candy Apple Grove firework pictures, right outside the Rebel Yard. It's a really great area. They even have a tent space set up, picnic tables. to do get um, a shot, a tasting, a full tasting. This booth over here is the Virginia Spirit Tasting Experience, which I heard was really great. We haven't tried it yet. And the picnic area. There was a really great local Virginia band just playing here. They were awesome. My kids were having a great time listening to them. You can see it's a perfect day to come out and enjoy the park. So much to do and see. And like I said, everything is really reasonably priced. It's a great event. And again, it's running May 6th and May 21st, Saturdays and Sundays. And you purchase tokens once you're inside the park. And you can purchase as much as you want or as little as you want come back throughout your park day. It's a lot of fun and there's a lot of good eats to try. One of my favorite things so far was the biscuits with apple butter.